Hi guys and welcome to the Outdoor Mentor. Today we're going to talk about a brand new trail camera that we've got through the power of YouTube. I really appreciate the nod and uh, love all kinds of gear. If you're new to the channel, this is an archery only YouTube channel. We talk about archery all the time from hunting to bow fishing to targets to indoor to 3D. We're going to try to cover it all here in 2020. So don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Now let's get on into the video and take a look at this brand new trail camera. It is an extra long video, but it's going to be broken into two parts. First off, we're going to take a look at the camera, the features, the price points, and you know, as well as um, show you its capabilities. But at the end of that section, we're going to go into the menus, show you how to load the batteries, show you, you know, what SD card I'm using, show you all kinds of features that's going to make you take better trail cam photos with this camera. So if you're here for just a little bit or the duration, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to drop in the comments and let me know what you think about this brand new trail camera from 8man. Now let's get into the review. What do you like in a trail camera? What does it take for you to get quality pictures of wildlife? Do you like stills? Do you like video? Do you like a cell camera or do you like the good old standby and like the process of going and checking your cards? Well, I've got something new for you today. So join me on the Outdoor Mentor as we do a product review and run this new 8-man H55 through its paces. Well, let's look at this brand new trail camera from 8-Man. If you've never heard from 8-Man, well, they've been around for a while. Not only do they make trail cameras, but they also make action cameras, security cameras, as well as some other products. Of course, they've got a Facebook page and they've got a website, 8manelectronics.com. Okay, go in here and you can see some of their other items, action cameras, dash cameras, IP cameras, and trail cameras. Now I'm going to click on trail cameras and we're going through here and you can see that they've got multiple trail cameras and the one we're looking at today is the H55. Now let's go ahead and do a quick unboxing and see what this camera is all about. As a user manual, okay, we'll be going through that, but here's the camera itself, okay. Nice, small, compact design. You see, it's actually the size of my hand, but uh, that's not all. There's actually more right here. And I'm really excited about, okay, of course, you're gonna have a tree strap, right? But not all cameras come with their own mount, okay? I've actually got a swivel mount here and a base plate that you can, you know, attach with screws so whether you're you know you want to mount it to a tree like that or whether you want to mount this say in your shop or around your house as a security camera hey eight man gives you that flexibility we'll go ahead and slide it into place i want to go to you hear that positive lock and we're going to go ahead and turn it to test mode Okay, there's a little beep to let you know that we're turning it on. Don't worry about that. We can turn that off if you don't like that. So as we look at our camera, we can, uh, we can see our buttons here on the right. We've got menu, an up and down, an okay or enter, and a mode button. And these buttons are gonna help you go through the, uh, the menu, which is fairly easy to follow. Language, okay, we're gonna go to English, menu, when you open up the camera and you want to go into your menu, just hit the menu button once and you can see set up just like any other menu, the little gray bar right here on the side, you've got that much menu to scroll through. So we can go through photo resolutions, photo series, video resolution, video link, um, how our camera is set up, how often and how sensitive it is, the target recording time, time lapse, and then back to language, time, date, and you can actually uh, apply a serial number to this camera if you want to. Um, here, there's your beep sound. You just hit OK and we can turn it on and off. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. And 
just like that, it's off. <clears throat> Alright guys, well through the power of video, um, we've had our 8-man H55 um, hanging here for about two months throughout the rut, throughout gun season, and a little bit into muzzleloader season here in southern Indiana. And it's time to uh, take her home. We're gonna, you know, go ahead and talk about the highlights of this camera as well as pull a card and see what kind of uh, coverage we've got over this scrape and this trail that goes in between transition between a food plot, a neighbor's food plot, um, and thickets on both sides. So stick with us and let's see what we got. One of the awesome features I like about this trail camera so far is the little color LCD screen. Um, not only is it easy to read, um, it's fairly bright. Now I've got quite a few studio lights on here in the house right now. Um, but you can see that you know it's still got good color. Um, even in the viewfinder, um, it looks pretty good. Across the bottom, you've got a little green battery symbol. Okay, we just put fresh batteries in there. It's completely full. It says it's 82 degrees in here, which it is because I don't have air conditioning in this room. Um, it gives our military time and our date. As well as in the top left-hand corner, it's got a camera and a 16 megapixel um, right beside it, okay? Um, when you switch over to video mode, a little video camera shows up. Um, and then over here in the right, it says 8010 SD. So at the current settings, 16 megapixel, my 32 gig card in here, I can put 8000 8, pictures on this card the way it's set up right now. From this screen, you can change whether you want to run straight video or whether you want to run pictures okay i hit the mode button we went straight directly into video mode we got it set on 1080p and it tells me that i can actually get two hours and 42 minutes of runtime on this card the way it's set up okay hit our menu button one more time and it actually goes into pictures that we have taken we can scroll up or down on that. Um, if I want to, right now, i tell you what, for the sake of the video, let's go ahead and do it. All right guys, so up until now, the 8-man H55 has showed us some pretty cool features, but I guarantee your camera can't do this. So we've got the H55 set up in an LED interview ring, and it's totally meant for vloggers, but, um, I use it around the house quite a bit when we're, I'm, I'm doing a, a vlog video, but I've got it set up and we're just going to turn it into test mode and you can take pictures and video from test mode. Now I'm just going to adjust my Kelvin here just a little bit so we get our white balance halfway decent. Okay. Now in the test mode, I'm just going to hit the mode function one time and that'll change from camera over to video. Now I can hit the OK button. And just like that, automatically that actually put me into night mode because my light is so dark. That's really cool. We'll get the opportunity to see what night mode looks like, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn my interview ring on, okay? And just like that, we're recording HD video. How cool is that? How cool is that? Camera one, camera two. So our H55 from 8man is, I wouldn't say a game changer, but for the price point and for the amount of features involved, it's definitely a fine unit. You add in the added features of multiple mounting options, color, high definition video, as well as that pretty little inch and a half, inch and three quarter inch view screen not only allows you to point the camera in the correct location for the pictures that you're hoping to capture, it allows you to view the pictures and video on the camera itself without the use of having to have another device to read that SD card. 
If you guys are looking for a high quality camera, I strongly suggest that you check out the H55 from 8man. I'm Dustin Apple, the Outdoor Mentor. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. For more archery tips, tricks, and even reviews, we'll see you right back here next time. Now the first thing we're going to do, of course, is look at our manual, but don't be overwhelmed by this thick manual. Um, it's divided into five different languages, conveniently, and only this much will uh, will describe the camera and show you the ins and outs um, and everything associated with the different modes. So let's uh, let's start peeling these lens covers off. That's uh, that's pretty nice, nice slick looking. We'll go ahead and open it up here. I'll peel this cover off of the sensor and then down below here on the bottom is where our battery tray is. So with a nice heavy clasp on the bottom we can open up and we got four slots for eight batteries. And You can see that it's clearly marked right over here um, along the bottom of uh, what side goes up. So I'm going to start out with negative, put two of them in negative, we'll put two in positive, two more in negative, and the last two will go up with positive up. We'll just rotate. We'll put our cam buckle back on and we can open the camera up. Now, this camera, as you can see right here on the bottom right, has three positions in this bottom switch. Okay, on, test, and off. Anytime you're wanting to set the menus, you want to make sure that the camera is in the test position. So, as we look at our camera, roll it up here one more time, and you can see that. It does take a micro USB and there is a DC in port. If you want to set this camera up for security purposes only, you can get a power cable that allows for a 6 volt 2 amp in that will run the camera instead of running it on batteries. And you can see it's got the standard little uh, camera mount right here on the bottom for mounting your camera with the use of the mount that's included. Over here on the right side of the camera we've got the SD port. Now when choosing an SD card or an SD HX card you want to make sure that you get a class 10. 8man recommends that you want class 6 or higher but for doing video I want to recommend that you do a class 10 or higher. Anytime you're you know shopping for these, they're not that expensive anymore. Um, and this little number over here that says 95 megabytes per second, that is the speed in which the the card will read to your computer. So the higher the number is on that, the better, and a class 10 or better. This camera will accept up to a 32 gig card. So this is an excellent choice for any of the trail cameras that you're going to use that's going to take high resolution video. We'll go ahead and slide it into place. You want to go to you hear that positive lock. There's actually more right here and I'm really excited about okay of course you're going to have a tree strap right but not all cameras come with their own mount okay. I've actually got a swivel mount here and a base plate that you can you know attach with screws so whether you're you know you want to mount it to a tree like that or whether you want to mount this say in your shop or around your house as a security camera hey eight man gives you that flexibility this little mount is actually pretty cool um, nice quality hardware here nice and hard um, no plastic on this one okay completely metal and definitely be strong enough to hold this camera in all situations. 
So uh, we can mount our camera right up here to our, our ball mount and with a, a handful of screws we can mount this to any surface. What is mode? We'll hit OK. Do you want photo, video, or photo and video? In photo and video mode the camera will take a, a handful of pictures however many that you have the camera set up for then it will take the video that you have it set up for as well photo resolution I'll go ahead and hit OK go in here and you can see that you know if you've got a small card maybe you you're taking camera pictures over a bait source then you want small file sizes um, to be able to fit more pictures on the card that's perfectly fine but since I don't prefer to bait um, I want my pictures as high a quality as possible so I'll just hit 16 megapixel and then I'll scroll down now for photo series we'll go in and it'll ask you do you want just one photo taken each time the camera is triggered or do you want two or three I find the video options on this camera very interesting because once again it gives you the options of being able to record in multiple file sizes. Now for trophy purposes, for being able to determine you know what you're looking at, what's coming into a, uh, a food source or on a trail or whatever, that 480p is going to be more than adequate. But if you want to run um, in higher resolutions, you can actually run in full HD which is 1920 by 1080p and that's what I'm going to select here today. Now video length as you might imagine, you, there's multiple ways and times to be able to set this up. From five seconds all the way to five minutes, guys. Now, five minutes is an eternity. But PIR interval. The PIR interval is how often you want the camera to be triggered. Do you want it to be triggered every 30 seconds? Um, we can go upwards however many seconds you want. Um, let's go past a minute and see what happens. Up to minutes, okay? So we can go for a long time. If you only want to take one five minute video every 45 minutes, hey, you can do that. This, uh, this camera is really cool on how it's set up. And then once it gets to 60 minutes, it goes back to seconds. The sensitivity of our camera, low, middle, high, that's pretty much standard on any camera. Um, middle settings is going to be, you know, anything that's sun and shade all together. Um, low settings, if you're going to set this up on a wide open parking lot with lots of sunlight, a low setting is probably going to be the best for you. If you do that on a high setting, it's going to trigger, I mean, just from the sunlight and the wind and everything. So. I like to stay on the middle setting. And we'll scroll down. Now target recording time. You want to leave this off. Target recording time is, you can set this up to when the camera is active. If you only want it to be active during the nighttime mode, you can go ahead and click on, go in and it'll ask you when do you want to start and when do you want to stop the activity of the camera. Do you only want to take daytime photos? Do you not want to, you know, let your heart race over a nocturnal buck that you may never see during the daylight? <laughs> if you want to set this camera up for any given time throughout the day, you can do that here by the target mode. So I'm going to go back because I don't want to set this up. I'll hit the menu and that'll take me back to the menu of course. Um, this camera also allows you to do time lapse and time lapse is really cool especially for food plots because you can go in here okay let's go in on to go ahead and see what it looks like and you can take a picture every 30 seconds um, whether motion is activated or not okay now when you do set this up and it tells you right here notification motion sensors are deactivated when you put this camera in time-lapse mode, it automatically will take a picture however often that you have this set up for. 
If you want to take a picture every five minutes on one specific area for a whole day, that you know, then it'll do that. It will definitely eat your battery up quite a bit, but you know, in a scouting scenario, when you're wanting to know where the animals come out, where they're you know going to be multiple times, then you want to run this in time lapse mode, and it's a great way to get multiple pictures of animals near and far. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to drop in the comments and let me know what you think about this brand new trail camera from Ape Man.